game has definitely been Barcelona's game, but now we might have a chance at a score on the counter completely against the run of play. Jesse Rodriguez is now on the run here. It's still Jesse Rodriguez. Can he get the goal for us? Jesse with the shot. He scores in the 51st minute of this game completely against the run of play. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to Season 1, Episode number 6 of the Villarreal Career Mode Series. In today's episode, we'll be playing Celta Vigo in La Liga and also we'll have Sevilla in the Copa del Rey. If you guys are enjoying this series, drop a like on the video, 50 likes as usual would be awesome and also subscribe if you haven't already. In the league, we're doing pretty well after playing 8 games in 2nd position. Win against Celta Vigo could put us top of the league, which would be just ridiculous. In the last episode, I did ask you guys your thoughts on the goal goalkeeper situation right now we have two really good keepers in Sergio Asenjo and Alphonse Ariola. Ariola is on loan from PSG so I wasn't entirely sure whether we should be you know training him and playing him extensively because eventually he will leave the club and we'll have to pay a lot of money to bring him in something around 40 million maybe you know 30 million not 40 40 might be a bit too much but still that is a lot of money and it's not like Asenjo isn't that bad so I asked you guys which keeper you prefer a lot of you guys preferred Asenjo but there were a few that preferred Ariola but bringing Ariola in I don't think it's going to be possible because with Villarreal our budget isn't that high we barely have any money for the January transfer window and I don't think it makes sense bringing in a keeper when we already have a good keeper in Sergio Asenjo. Anyways guys let's talk a bit about FIFA 17 the teaser trailer was released yesterday and I'm super excited for FIFA 17 there seems to be you know touchline managers you know real life managers like Mourinho in the game apart from that the dressing room and the graphics just look insane let me know your thoughts on FIFA 17 in the comment section below also the gameplay seems to be much better because of the new frostbite engine anyways let's focus on this game right now against Celta Vigo this could be a very tricky game a strong team is playing this game but still it could be very difficult for us because of course Celta Vigo are a very good sign first chance here for us in this game Jesse Rodriguez takes the ball into Bakambu who takes the shot the keeper makes the save then Denis Suarez in the rebound does miss the chance to score but now we have another chance here Tolisso is on the ball here a beautiful through ball into Denis Suarez first shot is saved but then the rebound he does score one nil in like 31 minutes pretty decent against Celta Vigo that ball from Tolisso was just class and it's 1-0 already which is really nice to see because Celta Vigo are a difficult side and as you can see Nolito goes past Bailey like he wasn't there plays the ball into Was who takes the shot there but Asenjo as I said is a really good keeper in this game and he shows why a decent save from him in the 47th minute of this game Jesse Rodriguez is on the ball goes away from Hugo Mayo it's still Jesse Rodriguez cuts inside here plays the ball into Jaume Costa and that's a striker's finish from Costa straight down the ground and the keeper had no chance it was near post really good finish that was from Costa now Iñaki Williams on the ball here Iñaki Williams finds some space and plays the ball into Denis Suarez takes it down and look at that for a goal from Denis Suarez definitely goal of the season so far what a strike from Denis Suarez keeper had no chance that was just beautiful from Denis Suarez and the ball from Iñaki Williams was brilliant as well have a look at that perfect ball you know over the top through ball Denis Suarez traps it really well left foot bang and that's a brilliant goal from Denis Suarez now a chance here for Jesse Rodriguez late on in this game to make it 4-0 goes down inside the box we get a penalty and you know what guys I'm gonna give this one to Denis Suarez it's a chance for him to get a hat-trick can he do so yes he can Denis Suarez gets his hat-trick against Celta Vigo what a hat-trick it is a brilliant long shot a decent penalty as well and a goal from a rebound when you say it that way it doesn't look like that great of a hat trick but for cam it's actually a pretty good hat trick to get he was superb very clinical inside the box and i'm really glad to have him as you can see guys now it's time to focus on the europa league first two games in this competition we have drawn which isn't that great and now we're going to be playing our third game in the europa league against locomotive moscow hopefully this time we will be able to get the win the team i have changed up a lot i'm playing soldado up front alongside iniaki williams and castilejo kovalenko in camp trigueros and bruno in midfield costa bailey musashi Mario Gaspar in defense and Ariola as a goalkeeper. The main change in this game is our striker and our left winger. Without Hesse and Bakambu, this team isn't that great. But we do have the first chance to score Trigueros with the shot. He probably should have done much better than that. He should have probably scored. It wasn't that difficult a chance here. Trigueros links up well with Iñaki Williams, who were having a really good game. Trigueros here takes the shot with his left foot. Unfortunately, couldn't score there as it hit the right post. We have been creating some really good chances in this game, but we haven't been able to convert it. And now they have a chance and they could potentially score Mario Fernandez with the shot but a great save from Ariola great goalkeeping there from him and in the 78th minute they have a chance here to score ball played into Mario 
Diego Fernandez again. I'm not sure if his first name is Mario, but anyways, they take the shot here from inside the box. Adiola again makes the save. Still nil-nil so far. Castilejo now on the ball into Bruno, whose stamina is pretty much just zero or something. Kovalenko here takes the shot, but their keeper makes the save. Still nil-nil in this game, but now they have a chance here in the 88th minute to score the winning goal. Ball played inside the box, and guess what? They scored. Adiola probably should have saved that as it was straight towards him. And in the 88th minute, they do manage to get the winner. It's been quite a while since I've conceded a goal so late on that actually mattered. And you know what? We actually lose this game, which isn't good. And now we're in a very difficult position in the Europa League. We gotta win our remaining games. I do believe we will be able to. Now, guys, it's time to play this game against Las Palmas away from home. Jesse Rodriguez and Bakambu back in the lineup. Samuel is playing on the right hand side. Had a really good game the last time we played. Score a pretty good goal. Here we do lose the ball, and it was Tolisa who actually lost the ball. Ball played down the wings to Jonathan Vieira. Crosses the ball into Araujo, who takes the shot on the wall. He put it goes wide. He probably should have done better than that. He's a really good striker. But here, Hernan is on the ball. Plays the ball into Araujo again, who plays it into Montoro, who takes the shot and scores. Las Palmas shockingly get the lead against us, which I, I'm not, I'm, I can't believe it because they're not the best of sight and they've got the lead and they've been playing really good football in this game. But we might now have a chance here to get the equalizer. Dennis Suarez down the wings here, cut inside, and look at this from Dennis Suarez. He is world class in the 79th minute where it didn't look like we we're going to get the goal. They were defensively so good. Dennis Suarez with the moment of magic giving us the goal in the 79th minute. A brilliant finish as well from him. He's actually scored two bangers in this episode. A long shot in the previous game he played and now this one. He's been amazing so far this season which is really nice to see. Four goals in this episode already. That is just insane. As you can see we are still in second place but this time four points behind Real Madrid because we did actually draw against Las Palmas. Not the best of results but it could have been worse. We could have actually lost that game and his Suarez literally saved us in that one and now we're going to be playing Sevilla in the Copa del Rey as I said Carlos Vela might be making his debut for Sevilla that's going to be interesting you know Kona Plianka on one side Carlos Vela Gamiero up front Sevilla have a really good side anyways this is the team I'm going with you know a rotated squad because obviously it's a Copa del Rey game things didn't start off well for us Vitolo plays the ball into Kona Plianka here who goes past two plays takes a shot hits the crossbar and then hits the ground but then on the rebound they do actually score 35 minutes Sevilla do get the lead thanks to Fernando Llorente not the best of starts for us but in the 48th minute from a free kick we had the chance to get back in this game but Bruno's free kick hits the post again pretty unlucky that we have been hitting the post a lot recently now Trigueros is on the ball here plays it into Castilejo here Castilejo decides to take a touch inside the box then shoots and then the keeper makes the save Beto again has been pretty decent in this game so far. We had a chance here from the corner. Kovalenko puts the ball in and Musashio with the header hits the post or the crossbar uh, again. And which is very disappointing. We hit the crossbar twice in this game. Uh, I think once we hit the post and then the crossbar once. But anyways, we were pretty unlucky in that game. And we probably should have got at least a goal. Which is very disappointing. Now they have the away goal. So the second leg is very important. If you guys do actually remember a couple episodes back. We did use a scout of future start to get a you know, talented youngster. Diego Rio was the player we got not the best of plays I'd say from his overall and potential we could have gotten better from the youth academy itself but hopefully he'll prove us wrong and be a fantastic player player of the episode for this episode no surprises Dennis Suarez with four goals and of course an average rating of 8.6 over the two games he played out of the four goals he scored two were just spectacular but which one was your favorite let me know down in the comment section below in my opinion it was that long shot that was just beautiful and of course he got a hat trick in that game as well but that is pretty much it for today's episode in the next episode we'll be getting done with all these five games in the month of november including games against sevilla avon getafe legia in the europa league and bordo as well so interesting episode coming up soon if you guys enjoyed the series drop a like on the video let me know your thoughts on the fever 17 teaser trailer subscribe if you haven't already and also follow me on twitter to stay updated with the channel drop a like if you have enjoyed the video and i will see you guys soon for another episode of this series